Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble my Hoberman sphere. As you can see, I already printed everything out. So let me show you how to remove these from the build plate. This is the precise uh, sliced build plate that comes with the small gears. All of the other do, all of the other sizes do have precise build plates themselves. Um, yeah, so. Be careful when you remove these from the build plate and let me show you how you loosen them. So the finished piece should be movable like this. So let's loosen this up. So the way we do it is we are going to push it in the direction it will move in the end. So we are going to basically do this on the tight part. So let me show you how. Just squeeze it a little bit and you will hear some satisfying cracking sounds and then it should move like this. Also these have to be, uh, have to be loosened, this one is already loose, but this one wasn't. So yeah, just make sure to grab the end of this piece right here and then turn this a little until it moves completely freely. And that's what we are going to do for all of those I have right here. I'm also going to do uh, to remove all the supports in this step and I will cut to the moment when I have all that done. I did all that. I pre-assembled both of these pieces to show you how it works. There's this kind of jigsaw pattern and you just stick them, uh, stick them into each other. The only thing you have to take care of is there are two levels to these. One level is facing to the middle of the circle and the other one is facing outside the circle. Uh, what you want to make sure is you only connect these connectors that are on the same level. So yeah, for example these two are uh, both on the outside and these two are both on the inside and I'm now going to connect those as well. Oh yeah, as you can see, I have a little bit of a, a defect right here. It's not perfectly printed, but that doesn't really matter. It will still fit together quite nice, messy, just like this. And now they connect it like this, each level connected to the same level. And now we are going to take another piece and just connect to the outside right here and then the bottom level as well. Sometimes it might be easier to retract this a little, make it a little shorter and then it will be in a better position to put it in or sometimes you might find that I, can't, I cannot push it from one side and try the other one like I just uh, did right here and then it fits perfectly and sometimes they are quite hard to uh, push in actually and what I, what I like to do is I like to take a wrench and then just push on both sides and it will slide in place. So we are going, uh, now going to connect the last piece here. I'm going to do the bottom one first since it's a little easier. So yeah, let me show you how to use the wedge. As you can see this is not perfectly connected right here. And now I'm just going to put the wrench on top, push a little bit and it slid in, paste, uh, in place perfectly. So I'm going to go to the top level and now we have this thing. And we can now connect another piece in between those two. Just take any of those and connect that. Uh, 
And as you can see, these pieces are now close to this one, and yeah, just put them together like they should be. So now we have this, and we can now close this wing right here. So let's do that. piece of this little wing so yeah now we have this thing and we can now Bigger and smaller already. So yeah, look. now we have four pieces left, and those will go on the empty spots. Basically, the mirror to those. and now we can connect both of these in the middle Well, and then there's only one piece left. And it's quite obvious where it goes. than the bigger versions but you will need to loosen it up a little bit so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed your little hobbling sphere and i'll see you in the next video